I wanted to talk about branch-along energy and its importance in X-ray production and what it is and what do we need to know about it. <clears throat> in this diagram, don't don't be intimidated by the diagram or, or the, the formula, uh, but it's actually a very good diagram. So here the plus sign is representing, let's say, the nucleus of our of our target material. Remember, we're doing this because we're producing X-rays. So we're shooting electron towards the target and the target the most common one used in radiology is a tungsten target but we have different targets like molly for mammography and but let's just assume this is going to be a tungsten target and the electron is traveling to, towards this material here and you see electron is negative negatively charged and as it comes it'll it will be it'll pass uh, around the nucleus and that that force there is called the breaking breaking uh, radiation or, or that uh, change in angle that occurs because of the different forces between the negative and the positively charged nucleus. So we see we start with one energy and then the electron has another energy here at the end. So the electron was slowed down and that difference in energy between the initial energy and the second energy is going to create a, a, a small photon here and let's say we're shooting an x-ray at 140 uh, keV based on a 140 kVp potential we know that branch along can be a continuous spectrum so in theory it can go as low as one, the next ray that can be emitted, emitted was like very small change and that will be 1 keV or this electron could could even lose almost all of its energy and then emit a relatively high energy photon. So you see that Brems along it in that sense it's a little bit hard for us to control. We're going to have a broad spectrum that's going to span the entire potential that we have and the other thing to know is that it actually can represent up to 85% of the electron interactions with the um, with the target. So that's something to have in mind. 